Parts of the South are bracing for more severe weather after deadly tornadoes ravaged parts of Mississippi and surrounding states. At least 26 people have died as search and rescue efforts continue. CBS 2's Christian Benavides joins us live from Silver City, Mississippi, one of the hardest hit areas, and you can see that now more with the sun coming up. Andrea, good morning. Andrea, good morning. I mean, just take a look around me. You can see this is what so many neighborhoods here look like. Entire communities have been wiped off the map. Now, we spoke to one man who lives behind all of this debris. He said the tornado lasted just about a minute. And when he stepped outside, he realized that his home was one of the few left standing. Drone footage above Mississippi shows part of a trail of tornado damage that spans over 100 miles. On the ground, residents like Renaya Pope of Rolling Fork are taking stock of the devastation. I have so many family members, friends, memories that has been destroyed. The town of Rolling Fork was among those hardest hit when the tornado tore through Friday, flipping over cars, uprooting trees, and reducing homes and businesses to rubble. You could hear the wind and hear the, hear the, the roof peeling back. The tornado also flattened the town of Silver City, claiming the life of Brian Parker's cousin, but sparing his wife and kids. I just opened up the front door and I was just like, wow, God really, you know, he was really, you know, surrounding me and my family at the time. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves says the state is now on a mission to respond, recover and rebuild together in the face of heartbreaking loss. We lost everything, but we got our life. As search and rescue efforts continue, Army veteran Jarrett Brown is volunteering his time. I signed up the Army uh, to serve this country and protect this country. President Biden released a statement saying he spoke to the state's governor, adding his administration is committed to delivering federal assistance to impacted areas as quickly as possible. Federal officials are expected to bring us an update around 1 p.m. Eastern. Meantime, parts of Mississippi remain under a state of emergency. Andrea. Christian Benavidez live for us this morning in Mississippi. Christian, thank you.